Okay, here's problem 2818. For the circuit shown, if the EMF of the battery is 50 volts, what's the potential difference VA minus VB? A is over here, and B is over here. And we're given that the potential of this battery is 50 volts. All right. Well, in order to find VA minus VB, we need to find the currents first. So we need to analyze this in our usual way using Kirchhoff's voltage rule. So the first thing we're going to do is mark our batteries. So we, get, we have a positive here and negative here. In fact, they're already marked. And a positive here and negative here for the 40 volt battery as well. Next thing we're going to do is, is assume current directions. Now we're going to go with these batteries. So in this left loop over here, we're going to go with the orientation of this battery and we'll assume that I1 is going around like this. In the very right loop, we'll go with the orientation of that battery and we'll say that I3 is coming around like this. Now since I have I1 and I3 coming into this junction on top, I'm going to need a current to come out of that junction. So I'm going to have my I2 coming out like this. Now I could be wrong with these current directions, but as long as I'm consistent with, with the way I proceed, then I can't go wrong. But my first statement here then would be that I1 plus I3 equals I2, because whatever flows into that junction should equal whatever is flowing out of that junction. And I have I1 plus I3 flowing in, and I have I2 flowing out. All right, so those are my current directions. I'm going to mark my resistors based on these current directions. Since for this 5 ohm resistor on the bottom, I1 is entering on this side and exiting on this side, there will be my plus and minus that way. For the 10 ohm on top, I1 will enter on the left and exit on the right. So my plus and minus would be like that. For the middle branch, I2 enters on top, exits on the bottom. And then for the right branch, I3 enters on the right and exits on the left. So there's my positive and negative for all my resistors. All right. I wish to find, let's just say, I1. So we'll select a starting point. Let's select this as our starting point here. And let's calculate for I1. Now in order to find I1, I'm going to focus on the loops that have I1 in them. And basically that would be the left loop and the outer loop. So I'm going to look at the left loop first. And if I walk my way around this left loop from, where, from my starting point and coming back to my starting point, as I'm going, I'll enter this 5 ohm resistor first. So I'll have then I have um, 5 I1 plus or minus 50 volts as I enter the battery. And then I'm going to have plus 10 I1. And then I'm going to enter the 20 volt on top or the 20 ohm resistor. This should be a 20 ohm resistor. Not 20 volt. 20 ohm resistor. And so that will be plus 20 I2. 20I2 equals 0. If I can get these this numbers to write. So let's solve this for I2 in terms of I1. So we have 20I2 uh, is equal to 50 minus 15I1. So I have I2 is equal to 2.5 minus 0 0.75 I1. Nice to know. That's my first equation. It gives me I2 in terms of I1. All right. Now I want to find I3 in terms of I1. So I'm going to look at the outer loop, set my equation based on that. Using the same starting point and going clockwise, I'll, I will have, I'll enter this 5 ohm resistor on the bottom first. 
So I'll have 5I1 minus 50 volts for the battery plus 10I1 and then continuing to the right side of this uh, circuit I'll have minus 10I3 plus 40 equals 0. Gets me back to my starting point. I want to solve this for I3 in terms of I1 so I have 10I3 is equal to and I'll have um, 15I1 minus 10. 10I3 is 15I1 minus 10. Divide both sides by 10. I have I3 is equal to 1.5I1 minus 1. So that is my second equation of merit. I3 is equal to 1.5I1 minus 1. All right. We determine that I1 plus I3 equals I2. So I have that I1 plus, and we just have I3 as 1.5 I1 minus 1 should equal I2, which we determine to be 2.5 minus 0.75 I1. This gives me one equation with one unknown. Add all the I1s together and bring it to the left hand side. So I'll have 2.5 plus 0.75, 3.25 I1. And on the right hand side I'll have 2.5 plus 1 so that will be 3.5. So in other words, I1 is equal to 3.5 divided by 3.25. And that is 1.078 amps. All right, that's my I1. And just for fun, let's find the other currents. I2 is equal to 2.5 minus 0.75 times I1. I1 is 1.078. So what does that give me? One point six nine amps. And my I3 is equal to 1.5 times I1, 1.078, minus 1, and what does that give me? 0 0.617 amps. Alright, those are my three currents. This is all nice to know. I've always wanted to know that. But the question was, what is VA minus VB? So we have to go back to look at the circuit and see what we have. Here's our original circuit. We have 50 volts here. We have resistor, 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 another battery, and another resistor down here. So it's 50 volts, 40 volts over here. We have a 10 ohm here, 20 ohms here, and 10 ohms here, 5 ohms down here. And this was point A, and this was point B. In order to find the voltage difference between A and B, in other words, VA minus VB, what we need to do is to walk our way from A to B. And if we continue with our, our proper labeling of all of our devices, I think these, this is the way everything was labeled. If I were to walk from A to B, one way I could go is 
through this battery this way and then through this resistor down here and that would get me to B. So if I were to look that way my voltage would be 40 uh, plus 5I1 and that would be 40 plus 5 times 1.078 and that would give me a voltage of 45.4 volts. So that's my answer. That is the potential difference VA minus VB 45.4 volts. Now suppose I didn't go that way. Suppose I tried a different way. Let's say I went this way down through this branch and then over like this from A to B. What would I get? If I had VA minus VB that would be equal to 10 I3 uh, plus 20 I2 plus 5 I1 and so that would be equal to 10 times 0.62 amps plus 20 times 1.69 amps plus 5 times 1.078 10 times 0.62 will give me 6.2 plus 20 times 1.69 33.8 plus 5 times 1.078 5.4 So we have 5.4 plus 35.8 plus 6.2 or 33.8 plus 6.2 is 45.4 volts. So we really can't go wrong. Whatever direction we go to get from A to B, we will come up with the same. You know, if I had gone this last direction, if I had gone like this, I would have said that uh, VA minus VB would be equal to a negative 10I1 plus 50, and that would give me a negative 10 times 1.078 plus 50. Oh, and, and plus 10I3. Yeah. 10 I3, 10 times 0.62, can't forget that, and so this should have been plus 10 I3, and that comes out to 45.4 volts as well. Sometimes too much to add, but anyway I go from A to B, I'll come up with the same answer, so that's our answer.